Lee SDR T. Subscribe now. Oh, subscribe now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we'll be talking about Fredo Bang. So we all know the history between Fredo Bang and Youngboy, the beef and the drama going on between them, between TBG, Fredo's camp, and NBA Youngboy's crew. So we all know that. But so Fredo had an interview to upload the other day, a couple days ago. And during the interview, they somehow Youngboy's name was brought up. And they started talking about the most recent situation that they got into where Youngboy announced how he was dropping his new album, Top, the same day Fredo Bang was dropping his album. And Fredo was like, me and my son, me and my son dropping the same day. And then Youngboy responded going off on him, told him to dig up his dead homies and all that. So that, so that's what they was talking about. And also how Fredo responded him, responded to him saying how go get a oversized coffin for Mr. Fat Man. That's when he was dissing Youngboy's homie Dump. So they brought, talked about that situation, and then at the end of talking about it, Fredo was like, I don't know what's wrong with him. He must got anger issues and all that. So that's what he said. Um, and then, and then that, was, that wasn't really a diss or anything, but, and then Fredo kept on going and said how, I'm, I'm still open to make music with him because I'm a businessman. That's what Fredo said. He would, he's open to make music with Youngboy. And then he also said how, him and Youngboy, he actually, he actually doesn't have problems with Youngboy because Youngboy never did anything to him or to the people around him. So, what do you guys think about that? And here's here's the clip right here. It's just the audio, no video. So just listen. Next time we talked, you were like, I'd be open to working with him. I would. I still would. I don't. I don't. I, I'm a business person. Like I don't have, especially I don't have nothing against him. Like he never did me nothing. Never did nothing. Nobody around me. Was nothing. the origin the origin of the issue with your man G originally? Um, I really don't know. <laughs> so as you guys heard, he said. He's open to make music with Youngboy, he's a businessman, and how Youngboy never did anything to him or his people, so they don't got problems. But if you know from the past, whenever Fredo speaks about Youngboy, he always downplays the beef, like there is nothing going on between them. He always does that, so this is nothing new. And as you guys see, saw, or as you guys heard, he's trying to act like he doesn't know how it started and all that. He, they, he, the, the interview guy asked him, was it because of G? He's acting like he really doesn't know, he knows what happened. It's a, it, was the, it involves his crew and Young Boy's crew. He knows what happened, but he just always plays it off, acts like he doesn't know or acts like nothing's going on between them. But we all know, as they do, diss each other in each other's songs. Fredo has plenty of lines in his songs dissing Young Boy. Young Boy has the same. So there's obviously beef and something going on between them. But And then after that part, he continued talking about saying how back in 2016 when Fredo first got locked up, how him, Young Boy, G Money, TVG, NBA, they was all cool and all that. But in 2018, when he came home, all of a sudden, when he came home, he didn't know what happened. There's a whole lot of beef and drama. So that's also what he said. But still trying to act like he doesn't know what happened. But he knows exactly what happened between him and Young Boy and their crews and all that. But comment down below what you guys got to say about this. Comment down below what you guys think. And. For this part right here, we all know he downplays the beef, as I said before. But would you guys really think Fredo would hop on a track with Youngboy if he had the chance? I know it'll probably never happen, but if, say, Youngboy had a open verse, somehow it got to Fredo. Maybe, I don't know, because of their labels. Who knows? Do you guys actually think Fredo would make a song with him? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.